The troubles of former sanitation minister Cecilia Abnadapa appear far from abating after court documents cited by TV3 News pointed to the office of the special prosecutor seeking to have the country's court affirm a freeze of her assets and bank account in relation to ongoing investigations into a missing stash of cash from her home. The former minister has been in the eye of the storm after reporting her house helps for allegedly stealing some 1 million US dollars, 300,000 euros, and additional sums of money in Ghana cities. That has courted wide public disaffection with many, amongst others, demanding investigation from the office of the special prosecutor. Well, that investigation has started, which resulted in searches in the home of the former minister, which resulted in substantial amounts as well found again, which has resulted in the freeze of her accounts and assets, which we're now learning of from the court's document. Per section 39 of the Office of the Special Prosecutors Act, when that case, which is expected to be heard next week, is called, the expectation will be that the former sanitation minister, Cecilia Abnadapa, would be served and she will be expected to make an appearance where she can defend herself as to why her account and assets should no longer be frozen while investigation by the Office of the Special Prosecutor continues. Per section 40 of the Office of the Special Prosecutor's Law, there is reasonable living expenses provisions made where should the court grant the Office of the Special Prosecutor the mandate or authority to have the accounts still frozen, portions or amounts of monies can be made available to her to continue to make payments where necessary and continue to live. On matters of duration as to how long the freeze of her assets can be, what we understand per the law is that the court can grant that the account be frozen for up to 12 months or later or on a date scheduled by the court. What is important to know as well is that this case, which is being investigated by the Office of the Special Prosecutor, is completely different from what is being prosecuted by the Attorney General, which has to do with the now confirmed eight persons who are expected to stand trial for the missing stash of cash found in the home of the former minister, which has brought about all of this.